The start of a new academic semester always feels like New Year's Eve for students. You make all these resolutions. This is the semester I'll be organized. I'll stay on top of deadlines. I'll wake up earlier. I'll finally be able to get those good grades that I wanted. I'll become that student who journals. I'll review everything as soon as I get home. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. If you don't change how your brain functions, none of those plans will stick. Now, this is not a video that will be telling you how to do more how to manifest more. It's actually a video about doing less and how I'm able to achieve an academic comeback without having to break my back. So we're going to do this intentionally because what people miss the most about a new semester is that it is the perfect time to rebuild yourself and to rebuild your attention span. Now I'm going to be real with you. I feel the most brain rotted after the semester ends because that is the time when I turn into a slug. I worked so hard throughout the entire academic year, especially in university when I was also tutoring also being a content creator and running the chemical engineering society at the same time my schedule was packed i had no free time at all so the summer was just time for me to be a slug relax and do nothing i literally spent the entire summer playing zelda i finished it in a few weeks when i think it's supposed to be finished in like two months or something like that i finished it super quickly and that's because i feel so overwhelmed over everything that the smallest tasks that i don't have to do become so difficult so the first thing that goes as soon as the summer comes around is i lose focus and then i start multitasking in order to cope with it because i'm like okay this is not good how am i going to be able to get back into the routine again when school starts starts again and that even becomes worse when you're done with university like i am now like i feel like i have no purpose at all because of this and it's just so difficult to do a lot of things without having the kind of pressure that school gives you so i have to make up my own pressure as well so I eat while I scroll TikTok. I watch anime while scrolling on TikTok while eating. I relax by switching from YouTube to Instagram to Spotify in just 30 seconds. Multitasking has become a way for me to cope with my lack of schedule and my lack of focus. It gives me the illusion of productivity without the calm that actually comes from doing one thing at a time. But here's what I didn't realize. While I was thinking that multitasking would help me feel better and become better, it actually did the complete opposite. It was breaking my focus and it was making me so much more anxious not less so let's talk about your attention span your attention span is simply how long your brain can stay with one thing at a time one lecture one conversation one problem set one moment of rest just one thing if you constantly feel drained numb or distracted then it's probably not even a motivation problem it is your attention problem a new semester gives you a rare window to rebuild it before the chaos of everything which is the first two months a new semester is the perfect time for you to rebuild your attention span before the chaos of midterms exams tests all of them comes around so this is your chance to reset your habits before the semester snowballs so let's talk about how to rebuild your attention span without overwhelming yourself the first rule is one thing at a time when you stop splitting your attention span your nervous system finally unclenches you think differently as well even your jaw will start to relax Relax. This isn't about becoming aesthetic or forcing discipline for productivity's sake. It is about training your brain to handle calm all over again. So I use something that I call as the focus stack ladder method. It's basically strength training, but for your mind. So level one is the low friction one where you can just do literally any time and it's called the passive focus. This is basically your warm up zone. If you don't feel like studying a lot, you just want to start with something small like watching a YouTube video about the topic that you're learning without skipping and without speeding it up either. Secondly, you want to eat without watching anything. This was the most difficult for me to do because I always have to watch something as I'm eating. Otherwise, my food will not taste as good. But it turns out it was just because I was associating watching tv and the joy from doing that if i'm watching something funny if i'm watching an anime that i like alongside eating which made eating become emotional and that becomes a whole problem on its own so now i just eat and it's shocking how much calmer you feel afterwards because then you're just like being present you're actually there and you're actually tasting the food and tasting all the effort that goes into making the food as well. So this isn't about grind mode. It's about removing the noise from the grind mode. Level two is transition focus and it requires a bit of awareness on your end as well. So once your brain starts to sit still again, you introduce slightly more mindful moments. So for example, you when you're commuting, when you're on your walk, when you're showering, do that in silence. No music on your headphones, nothing. You want to give your brain time to process and want 
wonder. Just think about back then when people were making cars and inventing new stuff. They weren't watching anime in the background, were they? They sat there in silence and then allowed their brain to actually process the information and think further than it usually does because usually you're distracted with other things. Secondly, you want to do one task per study session. So you want to do one study session of like, for example, 25 minutes of just one subject or one focus point without switching the tabs in your brain or in real life. Here, you will start to notice your thoughts again and that is the whole point of this. You want to build the presence that you have in this world again. Level three is active focus and it requires full presence. I'm not going to lie to you. I still struggle with doing this, but we're going to get there together. So firstly, this is your high performance zone where deep work will actually kick in. Firstly, you want to read or review your notes for 30 minutes without checking your phone at all. The method that I use for this is to use my phone to live stream on TikTok. Now, you don't actually have to do that. It's just because I have TikTok as well. So I use it to live stream. And that means every time I want to reach towards my phone, I'm on a live stream. I can't just stop it. So, I mean, I could, but I don't want to stop it. I want to leave it there and actually have the live stream playing. So I have no choice but to leave my phone alone. Secondly, you want to block one to two hours of uninterrupted study. Once again, the method that really works for me is to film myself studying or to have it go on as like a TikTok live. Once you have that, you can then do intentional study breaks. This is somewhat of the time blocking method. It's a slightly more rigid method of doing it, but it definitely does work, especially if you're the type of person that takes a while in order for you to kind of focus and get into the groove of studying. And lastly, try a low screen time day. So that's a day where you kind of just like read a book or something like that and you're not really on your screen a lot of the times because let's face it our phones are built for us to be addicted to it and all the apps in it are built for us to be addicted to it the goal is for you to increase the capacity of what you are able to take in and process so you're training your brain to hold the attention for longer because purely your brain has more capacity to take it in as well rebuilding your attention span doesn't just make you a better student it will change how you live and how you go on about your day-to-day -day lives. You will see that you will finally stop leaking energy into things that don't matter. You will also move, speak, and think with more clarity and you stop reacting to everything and start being intentional again. A broken attention span doesn't just make you scroll more, it also makes you forget about what you're doing in the first place and second guess your thoughts as well as disconnecting you from your own life. But when your attention gets stronger, so does your presence. And honestly, you're watching this video and you're watching all my other videos about how to improve your studying, blah blah blah, but what's the point in improving your life if you're not going to be there to actually witness it happen because you're too distracted to feel it so if there's one resolution that you can actually make stick this semester make it this rebuild your attention span do less but do it fully one task at a time one lecture at a time and one moment at a time and it's not because you need to be more productive but because you deserve to see and feel the life that you have built and have improved upon because you are actually present to live it so let your brain catch up there's so many things happening in the real world and so many things happening on your phone give your brain some time to rest and to just think and be creative again let your nervous system unclench you deserve that kind of peace so yeah if you found that helpful make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends that you think may also find this helpful aside from that i'll see you in the next video all the best bye